What's going on guys, I'm back to another video, in this video I'm going to make a veterinarian, or vet, or vet clinic, or whatever you really want to call it, I just put vet, because that was easiest. Uh, what does this remind me of? It, this is kind of like my bowling alley, if you made that, then this is right shh, back there, and this is very similar to that in the way that it is kind of structured. It is a bit different, obviously, as you can tell if you have seen my bowling alley. It's actually both made of, ironically, mostly oak. <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. I wasn't intending to structure it like this, but it, it happened. So yeah, I, I had to play around with this too much. And also, I will most likely be doing an interior for this. Uh, here is your inside space. It's Whoa, that is some weird... So that little line right there is giving in light, I believe. In... Interesting. Oh, that looks really weird. <laughs> so, yeah, um... This measurement of this is a 24 by 29 the materials are meeting our brick block. <clears throat> Oakwood planks. Glass panes. Dark oak door. Stone bricks, stone brick stairs, that's not stone brick stairs, ironically we do need that though, but I'm just going to get rid of it for uh, sorting reasons, smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, there it is, even selected the right one the first time as well, which is funny, and smooth quartz slabs, I believe that's actually voice, my is my, <coughs> A little bit better. I don't know why my voice being weird, but I think that's all you need. Specifically, exactly nine materials, and I usually end up doing that on purpose. <laughs> Starting from the front left hand corner for a 24 by 29 grid cough cough. If you made it, you want to count backwards by two and right by one, and going right, you want to place ten brick blocks. You don't want to place two dark oak doors and ten more brick blocks like that basically we're gonna build the front of the main structure and we're gonna build the walls and then the upper structure and build the walls of that and then go from there going left to right or right to left to top of that um row of brick does not matter you want to place three oak wood three oak wood planks i think it's three zoom in darn it yeah three oak wood planks four glass panes Three oakwood planks. Skip over the doors. Three oakwood planks. Four glass panes. And three oakwood planks. Copy that row two more times, except you do want to place oakwood planks above the door. It is Thursday. It's almost Friday. But hopefully everyone's having a good day or night, regardless of the fact that it's not quite yet Friday. like that. You don't want to place two rows of oakwood planks on top of that. I think I hate Tuesdays more than Mondays, honestly. I know those random, but I just figured I'd throw that out there. Because Tuesday are like so close yet so far from the weekend. Okay, it looks a little bit weird right now. <laughs> Look very weird. So basically what you want to do is above either window you want to place four blocks of quartz, so basically directly above the glass panes, just like that. I guess in front of the oak planks. So it looks like a face now. Eyes, eyebrows, mouth. You're welcome. Now you'll never unsee that. You don't want to bring either a smooth quartz block or the size of the smooth quartz blocks outward with a smooth quartz slab, and then down with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Just like that. Now it really looks like it has eyebrows and all that good stuff. Oh, I was going to say I, I'm going to fix that, but no, it still looks like it. Alright, up diagonal to the left and up diagonal to the right from the doors, you want to place an upside down smooth quartz stair, just like that. Bring either stair up with a slab and then place two blocks of quartz, smooth quartz in the middle, just like that. Now you have mustache, mouth, eyebrows, and eyes. 
I will never unsee that with this build. I didn't even realize that until I first, like, until I had nothing and it was just the windows and the door. I never realized that until now. Or at least. Yeah. So, I'll never unsee that. Neither will you, probably, but it's okay. <laughs> Maybe you don't want it in your city anymore. Anymore. You don't want to bring your two, your uh, far left and far right row of wall backward with 24 blocks. I'm pretty confident it's 24. Let me make sure it is, though, on this side. Yeah, it is. And then it's just sort of basically 24 brick blocks going back from the brick, and then 24 wood planks going back from each oak wood plank. actually a very simple build. I don't even realize this is gonna only be like a 10 or 15 minute video. Meanwhile, it took me like 30 minutes to do. <laughs> only because I kept playing around with the front of it. So that was a lot of fiddling. <laughs> but I got a design that I'm decently happy with. It's not my favorite, but it's not horrible. Like, I've definitely made worse. What even is that over there? Oh, that's O'Reilly Auto Parts, I think. I'm looking at that. That one is okay. You don't want to connect the far back um, block of each wall together, the back of the build, with a wall brick at the bottom and the north of oak with planks above that. So it's like, I think it's five rows of, yeah, five rows of oak. What I would actually recommend doing is, I know it's probably too late now, but unless this is the first build in your city, if you're making this in your city, or if you're making it at all, if you're gonna make this in like a shopping center per se, I'd have all the buildings have the same block type, like the same block color and maybe maybe even the same block, and the same general design. So like for example, let's say I wanted to build, hmm, I don't know. Uh, what's a good example? A GameStop next to this. I would make GameStop in the same general fashion, like same look, and then just you know kind of have it very similar except obviously it'll look different i just think that you should make it look the same because that's typically how it is in real life like you don't have like this oak build and then like a pink concrete build next to it i always use pink concrete examples like just always try and keep as similar block palette in a similar area that's that's my suggestion Alright, what you want to do is on top of the outer row or on top of the top row of oak wood planks you want to place a row of stone bricks I'm thinking about double recording today, because I have the time to do so, but whether or not I want to actually record is, uh, debatable. Well, I'm recording right now, but you get the point. You don't want to place a row of upside down stone brick stairs going on the outside of that, because I was going to, um, make another recording for Little Nightmares 2, so I could just upload that whenever, but I guess I'm just going to wait, because I probably won't, it'll probably be like this weekend that I'll record it. And then it'll probably come out Wednesday. Well, no, I'd probably record it Monday. So, yeah. And it is currently Tuesday. It's just, I want to just go through that game. But I'm going to go through it too quick, honestly. And then I'm going to be sad because I played through it too quick. Alright, just like that. That's what we should have. Now. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of an interesting thing to try and explain. But basically, uh, which is it? Okay. At either window, the second block to the second block to the outside, which is this block right here. I guess second block to the inside, technically, which is this row right here of glass you can see. So it's I guess the fifth row in from the build. On top of the stone upside down stone brick stair at the top of your build, you want to place four stone bricks, and do that with both windows. So the second over here, one, two, three, four, just like that. Connect that top row together. And you want to fill the center of this in with oak wood planks as everyone wants to be pushed back a block. So it's basically sitting on the row of stone bricks instead of the row of stone brick stairs. Just like that. Works about correct. Now, what you want to do is come to the bottom left hand corner of this little oak wood plank section. And you want to count right by two and place a smooth quartz block. Bring the alpha diagonal left one and up one. 
And then go back to that first blocky place and go up and down the right one and up one. From the first block you place, you want to leave a two block gap moving right, and you want to place the smooth court stair facing right, with two ups and on smooth court stairs on top of it. That looks like a really smushed E. And then you want to bring from, you want to go right from the normal smooth court stair and place a normal smooth court slab, and two upside on ones, you want to place upside down smooth court slabs going right from. Just like that. So, if you have this correct, the E should be perfectly lined up with the door. Just like that, because the E is two blocks wide and the door is two blocks wide. It was nice how that worked. Then leave a two block gap from the bottom of the E and you want to place three smooth quartz blocks moving up and then bring the top block left and right by one. So you basically perfectly fill your space. You have one block, at least one block available in between each letter and also on either side of the letter from the wall, except for the top and bottom. Top and bottom are directly touching. But like you can see one here, one there, one there, and one there. And there's two in other places. But that's not important. Important thing is you should have this. Alright. So you basically want to bring this topper of stone bricks all the way to the back of your build and then the far right and far left blocks want to be brought down so that they're kind of resting on the upside down stone brick stairs, just like that. So I'll just bring across the far or the two corners and then connect them down. Just like that. What did I do this on? I think it was staples that I did this on. Something similar to this, yeah. Because it was the... It was the really weird measurements with the way that the upper floor worked, ironically. Or the upper level, I should say. It's not like a floor. Like the upper kind of wall section. You know, you should know what I'm talking about. Just like that. So you have the two rows. And then in between them, you want to... At the top and only the top. Do not do it at the back. You want to just place stone bricks. To fill in your roof. What if I just did the interior tutorial right now as well? <laughs> I don't know if I have the time for that because I've got like an hour and a half, roughly. It could be like an hour, it could be two hours. But yeah. But yeah, I will hopefully stream on Sunday. Possible. Alright, just like that. Now, you should know what to do because we basically we're doing the same thing that we did at the front. So basically you can just bring the um far right and far left rows of oak wood planks here in this top section all the way back until they're diagonally touching the stone works and just bring it across. So it's basically, the stone brick rows are, are creating a frame for the oak wood planks to sit inside of. Like, not directly up against it, because that, like, you could do that, but I don't know. I just don't find that the, as the best looking design for a build. Not, like, not design, but, like, best looking. Yeah, I'd say best looking design, actually. Uh, I, it's up to you if you like it, but I always like that depth layer. So you'll usually see me at it. Just like that. Like, it's... Obviously we're missing some stuff for this, but like... It looks so much better with the... With it being more in and everything. Just like that. Oh wait, what was the thing that I had so much troubles with that on? It might have been staples, actually. There was something that I messed with the letters and stuff forever. No wait, it wasn't staples. I don't remember what it was, but I remember there was something that I had to... I originally had it flat, and I pushed it back. I don't remember. It was recently. It doesn't matter. Or on the top row of stone bricks here at this top section, you want to do the same thing you did on the bottom level, and that's place a row of ups and down stone brick stairs going all the way around. Just like that. That's basically what your build will look like when it is done, except for obviously the inside and stuff. But you have the little 
crevice or the section here at the left and the right where there's just an empty gap. You want to fill those sections in with stone bricks to kind of just cap off your build. I guess cap off the bottom story of your build. You could make this a two-story building if you wanted to. Maybe even more. If you're going to build this in like a city city and have it like buildings all next to each other, well, you could, I guess you could make them different then. But what I'd actually do is I would turn this, like, I'd keep this as is, except maybe, like, just choose not snow bricks, maybe, like, sandstone or something, and, like, just a few blocks back, I just kind of want to create, like, walls, and then just have it go all the way up and kind of create a skyscraper in that fashion, or don't even create a skyscraper, it's up to you. I'm not very good with cities, I'm more so good with towns, but, yeah. I always like to try and give tips if I have any. But I am. Once you're done the ladies and gentlemen, that is the exterior of your vet clinic complete. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I guess if you have any suggestions for any tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments. And, uh, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.